hi guys i hope you are doing great today now in this video i will be using a question that was asked to show you guys how to calculate how much fabric you will need to make a fitted sheet when you have to join panels now i did a video previously for you to ask yourself five questions before you attempt to make a fitted sheet so you can check that video out but just in case you still want to make your fitted sheet let's look at what you do when you have to join panels now the bed measurements that were given to me are 96 inches for the width 100 inches for the length and 10 inches for the depth of the mattress then she has a piece of fabric that's 90 inches wide and she has four yards of that fabric the bed is 96 inches wide and the fabric is 90 inches wide which means that she will have to join panels. Therefore, she will need two widths of this 90 inches fabric. The length of the mattress is 100 inches. Plus, the depth of the mattress, the depth of the mattress is 10 inches but we need to consider not only the depth at the foot of the bed but also the depth at the head of the bed therefore we will have to multiply 10 by 2 and that's 20 inches so we'll add 20 inches to our 100 inches and we'll get 120 20 inches now it's a fitted sheet so we will have to look at the return under the mattress and in order for the sheet to sit snugly on the mattress when you make it I would give at least five inches at the head and five inches at the foot for the return which would be 10 inches so let's add 10 more inches to this 120 inches we get 130 inches that's just for one width of fabric but she needs two widths of fabric to make the fitted sheet so we'll have to multiply this 130 by 2. Two zeros are 0, two threes are 6, and two ones are 2. So she needs 260 inches of fabric. Divide that by 36 because there are 36 inches in one yard so that's going to be seven point two yards of fabric round that up to seven point five yards of fabric so she will need seven point five yards of fabric to make that fitted sheet and this calculation is done considering vertical joins so the best way to join your fabric panels so they look intentional is to take your one width of fabric place it in the middle then put one panel to one side and another panel to the other side then if your sewing machine affords you to do a decorative stitch do a decorative stitch on the seam on both sides this way 
it doesn't look like oh you had to join panels to make your sheet it actually looks intentional plus when you lie on your bed you will have that solid panel of fabric in the middle to lie on instead of the seams of the panels that you had to join now this is the calculation for vertical joints just suppose you want to join do horizontal joints you want to join pa your panels horizontally how do you calculate that so we've already figured out that the whole area to be covered for the length of the mattress would be 130 because that's 100 plus the depth on both ends of the bed plus the return so that's 130 inches so we need to cover 130 inches and we're turning the fabric so that the width is going across the bed and the width of the fabric is 90 inches so if the width of the fabric is 90 inches and we need to cover 130 inches we will need two widths of fabric to cover 130 inches right so we need two widths of fabric just like we needed two widths when we did the vertical calculation we will need two widths to cover um, the mattress from side to side now for the, the width of the bed is 96 inches plus the 10 inches for the depth on the one side plus the 10 inches for the depth on the other side so that's 96 plus 10 plus 10 equals 10 plus 10 equals 20 plus 96 equal 116 plus the return the return is 10 inches 5 inches on either side of the mattress so we add 10 inches to this and we get 126 inches so we need a piece of fabric that covers 126 inches to go across the mattress and under the mattress and we need two widths so we will multiply this 126 inches by two and that's two sixes are 12 two twos four and one five two ones two that's 252 divided by 36 because they're 36 inches in a yard and we get seven yards it's about the same and i would suggest doing the solid 90 inches in the middle and then do panels on either side of the 90 inches and again do some decorative stitches on your seam so that the whole thing looks intentional and finished thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you immensely Thanks for subscribing, for liking, commenting, and sharing. Now, if you're watching this video or you have watched this video and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. Let me know what you think. I appreciate your comments and questions. See you in the next lesson.